Hello everyone, welcome to MBA Karo. In this video, we are going to learn some more rules of logarithms and I'm sure you must have watched the previous parts. If you have not watched, please do watch the playlist. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and also join my telegram group for MBA preparation. So in this video, we are going to learn one rule that is change of base to natural base. At times, if you are given a question with different base, so whenever you have different base, in that scenario, use this property to solve the logarithms and then apply the properties that we have learned like addition, subtraction, power, etc. So what does this property say? If you are given a log with some base, you can convert to natural base. Natural base means log 10. And you do not need to write log 10. Even if you do not write log 10, it is self understood that it is taken in the base of 10. So for example, let us say we are given log 3, 7. Now this is equal to log 7 upon log 3. So whatever is the base goes to the denominator. Whatever is the argument goes to the numerator. Similarly, if you have log 4, 15, that becomes log 15 by log 4. So this is how you can simplify things. Now this should be used when you have different base and you have to uh, do like addition uh, with different bases, multiplication, etc. So let us see some examples to clarify this concept. Let us say we have to find the value of this log 360 plus log 460 plus log 560. Now in this expression, the base are different. Okay, 3, 4, 5. So what we can do? We can say that it is 1 upon log 360 will become log 60 by log 3. And this goes to the denominator, this goes to the numerator plus 1 upon log 60 by log 4 and 1 upon log 60 by log 5. Now when we know that in a fraction if there is something in the denominator and it is in the fraction form so this comes to the numerator and this remains as the denominator. So this expression will become log 3 by log 60 plus log 4 by log 60 plus log 5 by log 60. Now we have the common denominator log 60. This becomes log 3 plus log 4 plus log 5. So whenever we have plus, we multiply those values. That becomes log of 3 into 4 into 5 by log 60. Log 3 into 4 into 5 means log 60 by log 60, which is 1. So this is how you can apply that property. Let us look at another example to understand this property. Suppose we are given this expression. We need to find the value of this expression. How do we find the values? Now it says, now this is log 2n. Uh, uh, the denotation is not proper because uh, so it means that this is log 2 and n log 3 n. So treat it this way. Now if we see this, it becomes 1 upon log n upon log 2. So log 2 n can be written as log n upon log 2. Now similarly, second term will be log n upon log 3. So, and so on. So, when we change it, when we take it to a proper format, it becomes log 2 upon log n and then plus log 3 upon log n plus and so on up to log 17 upon log n. Okay, so this becomes, now log n is the denominator. And we have log of, this is addition, log 2 plus log 3, 
so 2 into 3 into 4 and so on till 17 upon log n. Now, we know that whenever we have uh, like product of numbers, so we can write 1 also, right? If we multiply by 1 or not, it does not make any difference. So this basically is log of 17 factorial upon log n. Now, this is of the format log 17 by log n, uh, log 7 factorial, 17 factorial upon log n. So the property says key, like if you have this kind of thing, this becomes the numerator and this is the denominator. Now let us change it to this format. So if we have log 2 as the denominator, that will go to the base. That becomes log n. The denominator goes to the base and the numerator comes to the uh, the argument part. So this becomes log n 17 factorial. But now you must be thinking that it is given 1 upon something. Okay. So we will apply the property that we learned in the very first class that if we switch these, this becomes reciprocal. So it is reciprocal of 1 upon log 17 factorial n. So that is our answer. Okay. Let us solve another example. And then you will be able to grasp this con uh, concept very well. Now, this is a question which was asked in CAT 2020. Now, the question is log 4 5 is equal to log 4 y into log 6 root 5. Then we have to find the value of y. Now, in this case, we see the base is 4, the base is 4, and here the base is 6. If it is same base, we can apply the properties. But if the base are different, what we will do? We will simplify. We will say that this is equal to log 5 upon log 4 equals log y upon log 4 into log root 5 upon log 6. Okay, so this is what we get. Now, if you see this, this can be removed log 4, log 4 since this is multiplication. Okay. So, we can remove it. Now, what we will do? We will take y one side and all others other side. So, log y is equal to log 5 into log 6 upon log root 5. Okay. Now, this can be written as basically what is 5? 5 is root 5 ka whole square. Okay. So, can we say that it is root 5 ka whole square? If it is root 5 ka whole square, then we can bring 2 this side. So, this becomes 2, ro 2 log root 5 into log 6. So, log root 5 gets cancelled. We can divide it. So, it becomes log y is equal to 2 log 6. Now, when we have 2 log 6, that means log of 6 square or log 36. Now we have the same base, we have the natural base. So log y is equal to log 36. So the base is same. So in that case, y will be equal to 36. So this was a simple question. Now if you knew this property, you could have solved it easily in the examination. Now let us look at one more type of question which is asked in logarithms is finding the number of digits in an exponent. Okay, so you will be given some log value and uh, will be given an exponent. You have to tell the number of digits. How do we solve this question is? We know that log 10a, if it is given in this format, you have n plus 1 digits. So let me explain you through example. So if we say log 10 1, that is equal to 0. Okay, log 10 10 equals 1 log 10 100 equals 2 log 10 1000 equals 3 log 10 10000 equals 4 and so on now let us see so if the value is uh, like uh, some value of a single digit number okay so
सो अगर हम कोई भी सिंगल डिजिट नंबर लेंगे इसका लॉग विल बिटवीन जीरो टू वन इफ यू टेक अपार्ट फ्रॉम वन एंड टेन फॉर वन वी नो इट इज जीरो फॉर टेन वी नो इट इज वन सो इफ यू टेक अ सिंगल डिजिट नंबर लॉग वैल्यू इज बिटवीन जीरो टू वन इफ वी टेक एनी टू डिजिट नंबर लेटर से थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी टू एनी नंबर इफ वी टेक टू डिजिट नंबर log is from 1 to 2 between 1 and 2 okay if we take a three digit number the log value is between 2 to 3 okay so what we have noticed is if the log value is between 2 to 3 let us say 2 point something a b c then it is a three digit number if the log value is 1 point x x y z it is a two digit number Similarly, if we know the log value, so it has n plus one digits, where n is the number before the decimal. So let us understand this through example. How do we find this? Log two is given as point three zero one zero. Find the number of digits in two raised to the power twenty three. So what we do in this case is we take logarithm of this expression. So let's say, let us write log two. now this becomes we do not need to write log 10 okay so if nothing is mentioned it means it means the base is 10 so you take it as it is log 2 23 is equal to 23 times log 2 we know that if there is something in power that comes this side now 23 times log 2 2 is log 2 is this so multiply by this value 301 Twenty-three into three is sixty-nine, and twenty-three into one is twenty-three. So point six nine two three हो जाएगा, and decimal after three digits from this side. So six point nine two three. Now it is six point nine two three. That means it has seven digits. So without calculation, you can tell it. Okay, all right. So here's another one. If log thirteen is equal to 1.114 and log 3 is equal to 0.477 how many digits are there in 351 raised to the power 24 now this is how things become complex now you must be wanting pichle mein to log 2 2 ki power di thi isme 351 de di so what we will do we will apply the properties of logarithms that we have learned now we are given 13 and we are given 3 So three fifty one something has to do with three and thirteen. Okay, let us divide by three. We get one one seven. If we again divide by three, we will get thirty nine. If we again divide by three, we get thirteen. So three into three into three is twenty seven. So three fifty one is twenty seven into thirteen. Now let us utilize all the properties of logarithms that we have learned so far. and combine them see in this video series i am discussing different properties in different videos so if you watch the complete uh, playlist you will understand those properties you should be able to apply the combination of properties and solve questions now we have to find 351 raised to the power 24 so we will take log of it log 351 raised to the power 24 equals 24 into 24 times log 351 now we can write is a 24 log 13 into 27 now 13 into 27 means addition 24 times log 13 plus log 27 now 27 is 3 raised to the power 3 so we can say that 24 log 13 Plus three log three. Okay, so all the properties being utilized. Like if we have a number, then it becomes addition of logarithms. If we have exponent, the power comes this side. So combining all these properties, twenty four times log thirteen is one point one one four, and three times of point four seven seven. ठीक है थोड़ा सा calculation है twenty four into This is four seventy seven one forty one 
Okay, so this becomes uh, 25 and 45, 25, 4, 5 and 2, 5. Okay, so we'll multiply by 24, 120, 2 carries, 12 carries, 9608, 10 carries, 120, 130, 13 carries, 48, 61 and 3 decimals. So 61.08 is the result. Now this is the result. This means we have 62 digits. So that is our answer. So this is how you find the number of digits in any expression and any exponent which is given to you. Okay. So I hope you found this thing useful. Now you learn two more properties. One about the change of base and one particular kind of question wherein you are supposed to find the number of digits in an expression. So please do let me know in the comments that what will be the number of digits in 2 raised to the power 2023. Uh, we are given that log 2. This is log 2 is 0.301. And log 3 is generally coffee used. Hota hai. You should know that. Even if you don't, they will give you the values. So you should know these values. So we are given that log 2 is 0.3010 you need to find the number of digits in please do let me know in the comments of this video so that i understand that you have understood the concept and are able to calculate this and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are preparing for cat or any of your friends preparing for cat you can tell them about my online course which is running on a weekend basis and uh, uh, it will uh, uh, be till cat and uh, it covers live classes and some recorded concepts practice sheets with all the classes and full length mock test and if one wants to enroll in only section wise modules that is also possible you can check the links given in the description of this video in order to enroll in this classes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for great content on MBA preparation. I hope you are finding this playlist useful. So wait for the next video in which I will teach you some more things. And uh, by the end of this playlist, you would have become master of logarithms. Thanks for watching this video.